Plowing Association, we'd like to extend uh, a very uh, important and excellent and nice day at the plowing here today. Uh, in the village today, uh, I believe it was on this man's land that the first drive manager from Rome to play uh, way back in the 70s. So history will repeat itself on the Calvin 15 a number of years ago. Uh, in more difficult conditions as the weather was this kind. Today, uh, we're very fortunate uh, that the gods are willing to have a very big turnout. It's the first flying match of 2015, uh, and we have up to 52 competitors uh, competing here today in the many sections. Half of the officers, the many stewards uh, that have helped uh, to make this event possible, the calling men from Zumkara, and also we have refreshments uh, being provided here uh, by John Daly's shipper. So there's no reason that you should go home hungry. You're more than welcome to come along here to the uh, Foxy Six. We have DJ Johan to the ball. In the other 28, uh, three competitors again in this. We have uh, John O'Carvey in top four. Kieran Coffey here. We have David Walsh. Ward, Andrew O'Gillivan 2, Adrian O'Gillivan in 3. We have one strong lady competitor in the... Uh, in the marker class, we have um, either situated in front of the public address out over the slope, away from the, um, the entrance. We have um, about them. 23, Sean Ryan, 24, Michael Comey, 25, Michael Walsh, a Welsh, 26, John O'Neill, and 27, Dennis Cummins. Uh, in the confined hydraulic, uh, two competitors here, we have... Two. That flow in the spring, sweeter the sound that the song draws you sing. I sigh for a sight that I seldom see now. A man in the field with his horses and plows. Farewell to the day. Of my youth long ago When I harness my team In the valley below And off to the highlands Beside Corrigo To turn the hard green sod To its heart
invoking a blessing, I started my day. I burned a tunnel, that's what I would say. And asking for guidance to keep my know-how. They knocked at the headland And every once in a while I rested my body All aching quiet The sleeve of my shirt Wiped the sweat from my brow As I gazed on my heart is on flame With whistling and singing A bar of a song To lighten my burden All the day long With the seagulls above me And the roofs and the bow All this Put the clatter of traffic, pollution and all Have crippled the couple and sad way to fall From far away, okay, we were richly endowed Never counting the value of our Soon I'll be gone from this valley of woe to the fair fields of heaven. I hope I will go. On the quest of Saint Peter, I pray he'll allow. I'd uh, <clears throat> like to welcome uh, listeners of LTV here to the 2015 annual plowing match uh, held here on the lands of uh, Dennis Murphy Lee View. Uh, I'm delighted uh, to get an opportunity to uh, interview our local horseman, uh, namely JJ Delaney, all the way from Ballinagree. JJ, uh, what's it like to plough here in Cattleview or Lee View here this evening? The ground is top class here in Lee View this evening. It is, it is, it is great ground. Yeah, <coughs> we, yeah, we we ploughed in this uh, site. Uh, it's also the site where the McCroom show was held for uh, a few years back, and we also ploughed the site. I think maybe six or seven years ago. I think maybe oh eight or nine, as far as I know. Yeah, that was the time it's early. It was a bad Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it was. yeah same field, Yeah, it was same field. Yeah, we're lucky today that day. Uh, the weather was a bit unkind to us. It made it very challenging, particularly for maybe the two-wheel drive the two-wheel drive tractors, uh, but today we're lucky that the, we the weather is with us and it makes a difference. Oh, today is a grand, it's a beautiful day. I mean, here in the port of January with no court on, like it's yeah. unreal. Yeah. yeah. So, the, uh, <coughs> as you mentioned, the weather is uh, uh, quite mild. Uh, you're ploughing, obviously, with your uh, horses there. What age are the horses that you are pulling your ploughs here today? Uh, seven and nine, uh, Toby and Paddy. Toby and Paddy, and your assistant here today is your neighbour down the road. David O'Connell is the head man here today. Yeah, he's he's part, all day leading horses, and he's doing a great job. Good. So today, uh, David is breaking virgin ground as well here. Yeah. So today, leading uh, the infamous horses for JJ. Uh, you had a good season in the past. You did well above and ran in Iska there a few months back last September, where records crowds attended uh, the ploughing match. So how how did you get on? Uh, we got on. We got on well. We got on well, we came to third, what, well, the young fellow was third two days and I was third my own day. Oh, yeah. But uh, we done all right, we're, we're pleased enough with the results. He ploughed with the same pair of horses, I presume? Correct, we ploughed yeah. the same horses, yeah. Speaking of your son, Jeremiah, is he still, was he ploughing under 40 that day? Or yeah, is he, 
he, he, he didn't very well on the last day and he headed off for New Zealand that evening. Right. And I suppose he was right. I was either to go with him. <laughs> I just mentioned about uh, New Zealand. Um, he's out in New Zealand on a, a working holiday. What part of New Zealand and what kind of work is um, is um, Jeremiah uh, doing at the minute? He, he's in the northern uh, hemisphere of New Zealand, but they went down to the, the South Island for, for the Christmas because he had friends down there and they're, they're up now again for the. He's on Mays now, I think, but he's at, he was at Silage. I had to go over straight away. He's on a load of push up and they went mechanicing for a bit. And, I'd say it'd be home in maybe a month or two. I'm only just back from uh, New Zealand and something I've noticed there in the past four years being there in Tinder is a lot more maize being planted there and there's a lot more cash crops uh, being fed to cows where in the past we had the idea that New Zealand was purely grass only where there's now a big swing of turnips and maize being introduced to the dites over there. Oh, there is, there's, there's all that and, and thousands of cows. Like, we're only talking about a few cows, but that some the cows are there and they're really there. And they said the, the sheep are kind of gone down, or going to dairy more. Uh, I see down in the South Island now that the, obviously the weather is quite warm down there, that they're <clears throat> converting the farms from the, the, the beef and sheep and they're converting them to vast herds with big uh, irrigation going there. And we here in Ireland say that will Ireland cope with the expansion, but having come back from New Zealand and see the scale that they're on, I think our little drop of milk could hardly be seen out in the ocean, the extra milk that we plan to produce in 2015. It won't matter. No. That, that you know, won't matter now. Mayor, you have a job to do. I want to tell you. Thanks ever so much, JJ, for a 40th Thank time you. out uh, to be interviewed here. And we wish you the best of luck in today and indeed in the whole of 2015. Thank, Thank you, JJ. Thanks Right, I'd like to welcome back viewers here to uh, another competitor here competing in McCroom uh, is uh, Garden uh, Jennings. Uh, Garden, you're very welcome here to McCroom. Thank you. Uh, your impressions so far of the, the site and the, the whole plowing match here today? A very good site, considering the weather we've had over the past four or five days, I suppose. Uh, Tim to many fields you could plow in a day like today, so an excellent site from that reason. Uh, as a, an experienced plowing man for a number of years now, more of a challenge to plow lay ground? Oh, definitely. Your measurements and everything have to be dead on in lay. So it is a real test of a plowman of lay ground. Yeah. I thought we, uh, you, I'm not sure, I'm sure that you were here with us uh, before when we ploughed this particular site probably six or seven years ago on a very difficult challenge in there. I'm not sure if you were with us that day. I was indeed, yeah. We had a frosty morning and a very wet evening. Uh, did you manage to, uh, to plough it with your, uh, with your unique tractor here in the background? I did, I got through and I thought... <laughs> Maybe, speaking of uh, uniqueness, uh, describe the tractor that you're plowing uh, with and how many sods you're pulling behind your, uh, your, your unusual tractor. The tractor is a 1952 Massey Harris Pony, uh, 9 horsepower, and she's pulling a single for a sod. Uh, she's 9 horsepower. What era would she have been uh, associated with in bygone days or what kind of period did she come into play? She's Probably the early, she's 1952 this one, but probably the late 40s. They sure. came into the year and they were probably going up to the late 50s. Okay. So and, uh, you have <clears throat> you have had a, a, a lot of success down through the years, I suppose. Uh, 2013 would have been a climax for you uh, achieving All Ireland in your category. Yeah, I achieved it in 2013 for my third time. I came fourth last year, and I have had a couple of seconds and thirds in between. Oh, yeah. I'm playing with about 10 years or so. I've been in the top six every time, you know. Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's impossible to win all the time. Sometimes yeah. things can go with you on the day and some things might work out, but overall you have been quite lucky. Been very lucky, really. It has brought me a lot of fun and success. And uh, you can't be a winner all the time. People, it has to go around, so... Absolutely. Jim, our garden, you're from uh, down around the Clannock Hilti. What line of business are you at uh, yourself at the moment? Oh, I'm a worker in Lissavar Co-op as a yard assistant, so yeah. nothing to do with farming really, but brought up in a farm right. originally, all right, yeah. But uh, you're attached to what branch in Lithavard? Banderscarte, branch of Lithavard Co-op. Right, but obviously looking ahead, 2015 or 14 was an exceptional year with a record milk price, and you probably saw that there was a lot of sales of water trucks and uh, a lot of stuff being bought in the co-op. 
That was indeed. It was a good year for the co-op, even that it turned, started out kind of shaky. It was with the bad weather in February and March, but for once we hit the end of March, it was a bumper year all through. Uh, you're a man that's interacting a lot with farmers uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, is there a lot of talk down in West Cork? Uh, are people getting a little bit nervous or ch challenged uh, by the proposed mill price? And we're not saying uh, that it may happen, but it looks like it may see a, a drop in mill price um, compared to 2014. Uh, are people getting a bit worried down in West Cork and Balanscarty? They are thinking a bit now, all right, I think, yeah. I was the first challenge to the year will be the quarter, up till the end of March. A lot of people with quarters full or nearly full. So that's going to be a challenge in itself, and I think the downturn in price will probably upset yeah, the course. thing a bit as well. Like. Look, <coughs> we have survived 09, we survived the, the casualties of 12. Uh, with difficult weather, we survived the famine of 13. Uh, I know this will be temporary because the long-term view uh, in volatility uh, of the mill price, the overall trends are good for the dairy industry. Uh, so hopefully, uh, with God's help, we'll survive this one. And we look forward to seeing you, Garden, uh, back again in McCroom in the near future. And we should the best of luck in today's plowing. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks, Garden. Bye-bye. Appreciate it. A good judge, uh, I'm oh, I, I uh, We're joined by two uh, spectators here uh, today at the Mc, uh, McCroom Ploy match. And next to me is my near neighbour, uh, Nailis Manny uh, from uh, Crookstown. And next to Nailis, uh, we have Condonine, uh from all the way from Coulee, uh, west of McCroom. Gentlemen, you're quite welcome here uh, to uh, today's ploughing match. Nailis, if I may start with you. Overall impression of, uh, of of the event here today in leave you a massive setup, a massive setup, and more well, will be more to competitors, but gun conditions aren't, aren't, aren't appealing to the competitors. Uh, I suppose considering the vast amount of rainfall uh, that has fallen. Uh, they're exceptionally good considering that we had a lot of rain and it's indicative when we go to the lower field there that some springs have erupted, but still overall, uh, two-wheel drive tractors are still making progress and doing good ploughing. Uh, excellent ploughing, excellent ploughing. Uh, uh, way, way better than the bigger ones. Right. Way better, way better. They yeah. are more of a manoeuvrable sort of situation and giving better results. Yeah. So, no, uh, no, no, no big weight. I suppose... Uh, we ploughed down in your place. I'm not sure. I was a very small young fellow when we had a big uh, ploughing match below in Crookstown House. Uh, and I think Luce and O'Connells were on the go at the time there where they demonstrated the semi tractors. I'm not sure. There's not too many semi tractors. I think probably in the early 70s was this. Uh, that I, I'm not sure what year it was. I be thinking, so I, I, be, I don't have the dates in hand over. Yeah. I remember it quite well anyway. That's right. So. Uh, 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 we for a plow there the day and it was the thing that was take, taking out this section. Correct. Uh, we are very fortunate that you afford us to plow some of your big fields as well and trying to get ground that time for plowing matches for demonstration purposes were very hard to come by so we were each equally appreciative uh, of you affording us that opportunity. Yes, it was, it was, it was all right that time. So, if I may turn to your uh, colleague Connie, uh, as I said, probably back around Kool Aid, there won't be as much uh, ploughing. But what's your overall impression of today's events here with 52 competitors having made the effort to be here with us today? Oh, it is a good big turnout, yeah, and uh, so many competitors in it. And oh, some of the ground is reasonably dry enough, too, like, yeah. There won't be much ploughing now where we are. Right. There'll be no tillage in Kool Aid. Right. Yeah. I thought if you were to put on. Uh, you Sorry about that temporary interruption. Uh, if I may put on a uh, put on your other cap, can you do a lot of uh, buying for uh, cock marts? Um, I know the calf season has begun for some farmers. Uh, where do you see the price of calves? Uh, this is a predominantly milk area here around Midcock with a vast percentage of dairy gold milk being produced in this area. Where do you see the price of calves maybe 2015? I know it's early days, but how are the trends looking for the viewers out there in LTV? Yeah, I suppose the Frisian calves will be probably around the same as same as last year, but I could see maybe the coloured calves might be dearer because a lot of people are getting out of sucking and they're going to rear more calves, I think, anyway, and there might be more beef calves around too. Yeah. 
Yeah. How? What are the prices like at the moment in the market? For the, there's a lot of autumn calves out. I'm not sure if there's many being sold to McCroom, but they're looking at the papers in Bendon. There's uh, up to maybe two or three hundred calves that they're being sold in Bendon presently at the minute. I sure the good type British Frisian calves make you up to 150 or 60 euros, but I suppose a lot of farmers buying calves now for drinking milk, like because of quarter problems, like. Yeah, that know. will be a challenge uh, going forward. Obviously, maybe Neil I'll put it on your beef hat, obviously your, you and your son Nile down, uh, rear a lot of beef cattle. What are your concerns going forward in 2015? Do you see the, the price of beef? Has it improved somewhat since the various blockades have taken place? Very, very little. Very little. Right. Uh, maybe the price has come up, but grading has got harder. So and you, overall, I overall, I, I would say there'd be no change. Right. Uh, so 2015 is equally going to be a challenging year uh, going forward in the beef industry, you think? Very much. Very much so. Right. Very, very. I think, I think this year could be a very turbulent year. Right. Uh, a lot of unrest, a lot of... Don't know where people are going to. Between prices falling, milk falling, uh, conditions and standards have to be better and that will bring down the overall price of it too. I know, um, I want to thank you for your time gentlemen. Uh, um, I know we have survived challenges and I suppose Nailis, uh, you're uh, a man that has seen a lot of decades put behind you and you have risen to the task in the past and you're still hale and hearty uh, as you're uh, in your late 80s and still farming very actively. You have seen many challenges and times were tough and maybe 2015 may be challenging, but I'm sure uh, if we pull together uh, as a nation, we'll, we'll rise to the challenge and maybe let's hope that 2016 and maybe the end of 2015 will be a lot more encouraging and we'll, we have our health, which is equally we'll, important. We'll hope for the better. Absolutely. Yeah. Gentlemen, thanks very much okay. for your time. Keep walking over this way. <laughs> you down at the lower field. 
No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm here uh, with the man who has the responsibility of leading the McCroom Plowing Association. That's Connie Buckley from uh, Royal Iron. Con, you must be delighted with the turnout today. We're thrilled. You know, after the disappointment of the last couple of years, cancelling all that, we're delighted to be able to go ahead. A fine day, well over 50 competitors, um, everyone happy, L lay ground. Excellent sight. Ex excellent sight. Yeah. And and thanks to, to Dennis Murphy. Thanks thank you very much to yeah. him. I, suppose, <clears throat> I think you said it, you summed it all up there in your opening statement. It means a lot uh, to the organisation to be able to uh, plough on the appointed day because cancellation, uh, obviously you don't get the crowd and there is a bumper crowd here today. There's a bumper crowd and um, a lot of organisation, as you know, Silver Richard goes into this and we're all set for the day. Um, plots and all ready if you have to cancel then you have to go back yeah. over the whole thing again like. you must be extremely happy uh, to run this event uh, cost a lot of money and I think in McCroom you're very fortunate with your sponsors I believe I think that the most important thing look, is that, our, that the people will think of our sponsors without the sponsors we couldn't run this event like. and when they are when they are buying feedstuffs it says nearly all farming organisations that's supporting us I'd ask him to support our sponsors as best I can. And um, putting, uh, take you off your chairman, uh, you have a member of your families uh, participating, or you might just outline to us what classes uh, that they are participating in here today, and, and did you get an opportunity to go down and <laughs> cast your professional eye over them? Well, uh, Patrick, uh, as you know, he ploughed all Ireland marker last year, so he's ploughing marker as well t today, hoping to plough all Ireland marker this year. And then with my own plough, Matthew Coakley, is pers we consider him, you know, a part of the family, really. So he's plung as well. That's right. Obviously, you had your own fame. You per represented uh, McCroom and Cork West um, <clears throat> uh, for a good for a number of years, and obviously you struck gold. Uh, I'm trying 99. to think. More than 99. Yes, I wasn't sure. Much. I was thinking of the corn. 99 used to be my way of remembering. The old so. rustic bridge by the mill. <laughs> I'm sure 90, 99 must be uh, a year edged in your memory that you won't forget for a long time. Yeah, it was. I mean, look, we we were we like to think that we're people. We're men of the soil, or people of the soil. Yeah. And we liked ploughing. And when when I my when I first came down 95, I thought it would be easier, but. Yeah. It took five tough years of practice, and it's very hard to win in Ireland. When I was playing, no, there was 25 or something, and you must be better than 25. You must be the best at 25 in the country, which is a tall order. I suppose you had been a bit unlucky, you know, while you struck gold in 99, you were very close on a number of occasions, and you were extremely disappointed on one or two occasions, but you have to rise above that. Mm -hmm. I suppose we were disappointed, all right, like, but... I mean, better better jobs won. Yeah. To, to be to be fair, better jobs won. But I will say to anyone, like you know, stick with it, and you you might win today, but you'll be surprised come out the next day again. And as chairman, you must be extremely happy of the large turnout of uh, local plowmen that are participating in the lower field here today. Oh yeah, should should they are they are our nucleus, like they're you know it is future. their future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Um, you know, it is great for McCroom and great for country people. Yeah. And as you can see here today, like, you know, fine crowd and yeah. chatting and all that's that. That's what it's all about. I think oh, it's, it. uh, <coughs> I suppose you just summed it up. That's what McCroom Plung is about. It's basically family and community. Yeah. A lot of people have uh, walked out from the town of McCroom to be here with us today just to see how the people in the rural uh, side of the country uh, are living. And it's nice to see urban and rural mixing together and having a good time here. And so wives and children and all that. Isn't nice it's a family day out, a traditional day on the calendar. So we wish you, Connie, and your family the very best. And McCroom Chrome ploughing uh, incidental, I believe this was where the first ploughing match was held That's in right, the yeah. early 70s, as far as I know. Yeah, and yeah. we're back here again, but they say 46 years ago. Is it so, yeah, in this farm, actually, in this farm, and, yeah. and the owner was there in the morning and he said the same, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so it is below where my son is ploughing, and is, is where that ploughing match was held. Well,
Uh, so hopefully we're not too far away from the 50th anniversary and it's a good sign of an organisation that it has stood the test of time through thick and thin. So can we wish McCroom ploughing every success in the next years ahead and in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Leave you uh, delighted to have caught up with two gentlemen that have a lot of experience of ploughing. On my left here, we have John Sexton, all the way from uh, the Court Mac, uh, Sherry, and heavily involved in the Timmy League, which I'm sure he will touch on during uh, the interview. And on my extreme left, we have uh, Jory Cotter uh, from Coolnadan, who has the distinction of being our first secretary. And today, uh, Jory, must be a very proud day for you as the former secretary of McCroom Ploughing. Yes, I suppose it was all right. Well, the fo we are, if I was a founder, my brother was ploughing that channel in Tim McCroom. And uh, there's a few of them here today also. They're still there anyway. And uh, I think it is a great achievement to see. And the fine day too and everything. How we got it, there was disappointment the last few years. I'd, I'm out there tell you, no, from anything. I'm just looking on it as anywhere, but that's it anyway. I think there's much more I have to say about it. You um, <clears throat> you mentioned that you were a member of the of the, the founding committee. I think uh, the formation of McCroom Plung emanated many years ago. It was a seed that was sown, I believe, through Mocker and the Farm and McCroom. Would I be right? It was a lot of the... You'll be right there, all right. That's right. That was a break off from the Mocker and we were getting all from Mocker and we decided to go this way. Yeah. So that's not much more about it, I'd say, that I haven't, but I, we had a bit of trouble, all right, that was just hard enough to run at that time. We had much money or anything, and it was a weekday at that time. It was a weekday, always that time, to run the playing matches. But uh, we were the first to change, I think John Sexton could let you know about that there. We were the first to change over Sunday, and we're at it since. Um, that'll move me nicely on to uh, John. Uh, where McCroom, the first ploughing association, I don't know, around the country, but definitely in West Cork to plough on a Sunday. Well, they were, because I was at the county meeting when uh, some, you know, John Keller or someone requested, or Jerry requested, could have it on a Sunday. I know my father, who was director of the NP at the time, said it was quite legible that it was uh, being uh, agreed. Only there is a stipend with some places that if plumbing, um find difficulty to work on a Sunday, you shouldn't carry a championship match. So, um, <clears throat> obviously, you have been a regular attender uh, to McCroom and obviously uh, put on your neutral hat. Uh, your overall impression of today's uh, plowing event here in Castleview? Well, it is like uh, getting back a bit to old times with a good tough side. For many years now, the plowing has been more or less uh, on the stubble ground. A lot of the time it's very soft, tillish kind of stubble that provides no test for the competitors. Today I see here now the real old, the real old uh, lay sod that people are used to in years gone by. So, um, obviously, <coughs> uh, John, um, I suppose it is a bigger challenge to plough on this kind of ground. It hasn't been ploughed. We ploughed this site about seven or eight years ago. So it really tests out the competitors to have this kind of a challenge here today. Oh, it is indeed. Uh, you said seven years ago. I know the Premier League one now will be held on the 8th of February on my own farm. And the most of it is, uh, well, in probably 30 years. Um, so there'll be another fair test for them, like. This, that, uh, as you mentioned, your own ploughing match, it's a very unique occasion, I believe, uh, this, this coming year for Timmy League Ploughing Association. Yes, well, it's the 80th consecutive ploughing match by Timmy League. Since 1936, they've held the fixture every year without fail. Um, is it one of the oldest ploughing associations in maybe in, in the Cork, west, maybe in the east, maybe throughout the country? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Uh, there were ploughing matches held before that, but they fell away and so on. But since since 1936, at least, since we were there, there's nobody have consecutive. Bandon came in in 1944, somewhere like that. Uh, they did the longest consecutive again. Kilmean and Skibbereen, some of those, had plowing matches back in the 20s, but they were only kind of sporadic events that, you know, never went into an organised shape. Um, 
No doubt it will be a very happy and no doubt a lot of people, I think of the likes of the late Dan Connolly and unfortunately his son uh, passed away as well, I'm sure Dan and all his colleagues, former uh, active members of Macro or of Timmy, Timmy League Plung Association, I'm sure, will be looking down any kindly on Sunday the 8th of February. We hope they will and that they'll have a, an inside word with the clock of the weather. <laughs> So, well, there you have it. Two gentlemen that have uh, years of experience uh, years of experience involved in the ploughing, both at local level and uh, at county level. John is a former uh, Cork West uh, uh, Secretary of the organisation, so I've attended many ploughing matches. So we thank you, gentlemen, uh, for giving us your time to be interviewed here at this very successful match in McCroom. Thank you. Right, so... Um Always great excitement and a great gathering at the ploughing. Now